Yo, welcome back to the channel everybody, it's Night Spectrum here. So, for today's video we're gonna be taking a look at our boy Black Dwarf, who I recently transcended and I finished his build, so he's now rocking 6 Odin's Blessing, and uh, I threw a, a CTP of Rage on him because I know energy is really good for him, but I don't like cancelling his 5th skill, so that's why I gave him a Rage, and then I'll, uh, his uniform is at Mythic. And you can see, yeah, everything in his build is TP top, like we have everything capped out, maxed out, juiced out. So yeah, Black Dwarf, he's really amazing, man. So first of all, let's take a look at my cards here. So we have around 88% physical attack and 6% pierce. So for this video, we're going to be taking Black Dwarf into Null Stage 9 and also into Squad Battle, like... I'm pretty sure all of you have already seen Black Dwarf's prowess in one-shotting mall boss ultimate, so there's nothing there. So we're going to be taking him into Null Stage 9, we're going to be using Proximal's leadership and Valkyrie as support. So keep in mind I'm still uh, I'm still perfectioning his rotation with a rage, like I know with energy it's just cancel everything into his first skill, but for this one I'm going to be... Uh, we, we, we're gonna be working on that so as you know he already has 40% ignore dodge on his fifth skill so he doesn't need as much ignore dodge but still we're gonna be giving him Proxima and uh, Valkyrie to totally cap that out so we, we can bring full damage increase strikers so the rotation I go with is just cancel the third into the awakening skill and then we go into the four and the fifth and there for some reason my four didn't didn't trigger I don't know what that was so we're gonna try this again. So the rotation for the rage is you cancel the third into the sixth. The third has the buff just for the, for the awakening rotation. And then we go into the fourth skill and then into the fifth skill, which it has huge burst damage. And then we're gonna kite around into the third. The third is gonna be like our escape route here. So three cancel into six and then into four and five. And then you see the huge burst damage starts to pop out. And then we add a little bit of two and one in there. There are cage goddess, but that's okay. Now we we're gonna be trying to proc as much of the fifth skill into the the rage proc as we can because it has huge damage, huge burst, and then we're gonna be adding the three as as an escape route, as a as a as a cheese wee, so that we can just like uh, cheese null around a bit till our proc comes back. And the thing that I think something is bugged with uh, Black Dwarf because he's supposed to have stun immunity and godbreak immunity but for some reason none of those two seem to be working because he gets godbroken by the tornadoes like hell. So yeah and here we, we are already done with the first phase in around 57 to 58 seconds. So that's really good, that's really good sign if, if you can like Anywhere in the first minute, however long you take, if you can take Null of his chair, that's a really good sign. So again, cancel the 6th into the 4th and then into the 5th, huge burst damage there. And then we kite around into the 3, kite around until his rage proc is ready to activate again. And then here we are playing a bit risky, but Black, Bo Black Dwarf is a big boy, he can, take, he, can, he can take the risk. So yeah. Here we're gonna be kiting a bit around, hiding into the hole, and then around we go again into the fifth scale. And another thing that I really love about Black Dwarf is um, his uh, his movement. Like he has really high base movement speed, and the movement on his first skill is really amazing. Like you you can uh, move around the entire arena, so you're almost sure to never be caught in any of those spiky things like the following ten, uh, symbiosis so he, he never gets caught into that so here in uh, two minutes we're already into his dragon phase so keep in mind i only have six percent pierce it might not seem like much but for me this is a huge deal so yeah you can uh, adjust that to your pierce range like if you have double the pierce so obviously it would take like half around half the time if you use the like basic maths so yeah yeah, we're gonna uh, wait for him to get off his dragon and then we're gonna keep uh, attacking him again into the fifth huge burst damage and then here we are in the last phase so here we're just gonna we're just gonna face tank here like black dwarf is a big boy we're not afraid of anything so we're just gonna face tank here and again six can count to four into five I didn't add the three because I wanted to to finish it off with the three but as you see he gets got broken 
Black Dwarf who has Godbreak immunity as his passive is getting God broken. Something must be wrong there. I hope they fix it soon. So there we go. For, uh, around uh, 2 minutes and 50 seconds to get on all stage 9 clear. Super super fast. Amazing damage. Uh, super fun to play. Really really love Black Dwarf. And also, uh, he's the one I used in ABX today because, yeah, like, I do not have Apocalypse and uh, I usually use Namor, but now I switched to Black Dwarf and he easily gave me 7 million with, like, a rotation that I'm still uh, practicing. So, yeah, and uh, in, in shortly we'll be going into squad battle and you'll see how prolific he is there. So he's insanely good for squad battle and we're going to be checking that out in a bit and also there will be a crystal giveaway soon so yeah all you have to do is uh let me know your thoughts about this video in the comments and also do let me know what you're gonna be doing with your crystals because like empty submissions like with just ign and uh, gmail we don't do that here it's not constructive at all and it's not interactive at all so yeah Let's get into our squad battle run here. Don't forget to leave your Gmail and your uh, in-game name also followed with what you're going to be doing with your crystals if you win them. As usual, empty submissions are not accepted here. So again, for squad battle, it's the same rotation that I just used in Wall Boss Legend. And this is the same rotation I used as well for, um, for ABX, the rotation which gave me an easy 7 mil. And keep in mind, he, he doesn't have any silence. So that 7 mil was uh, all from his raw damage with the beast's reduction, which is amazing. Right, and for paralysis season, where he actually has paralysis, he's gonna be um, he's gonna be insanely good for paralysis season. So yeah. So here, as you can see, each of his like awakening rotation do around uh, 600 to a million, depending on the proc, which is insanely good. So here we keep going with the same rotation. We cancel the six into the four, and then into the fifth, and then we kite around with the three. We pick up the orbs with the third skill. And then, yeah, we keep attacking him here. So we are at 5.7 right now so let's see if we're able to hit 6 million we're gonna try to push for the 6 million this is a pretty uh, big score for uh, a new rotation a new character that i'm still practicing so there we go 6 million with black dwarf let me know your thoughts about this video in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in the next one stay safe take care